So I want to put a little disclaimer out there before we get into this one. For some of you it might come across as though I'm moaning about this, and in a way I am, but it's not anything against the community, it's more the content creators behind this sort of stuff. Because whenever you search for a rune farm, you typically see these titles now, 400 million plus runes, 600 million plus runes. And even if you're standing down at Lenny's Rising Kaelid and you're doing the boulder farm, eventually you're going to get over a billion runes, depending how long you do it for. So I could easily title a video, 100 billion plus runes, oh my god, look at this, it's, it's so enticing for you to click on. And then you get into the video, and it's this misleading concept of a rune farm that's not even the most efficient in the game. So I wanted to get that out there, and this is, in this video, the most efficient, the fastest way to get runes in Elden Ring, so let's jump into it. So, welcome back to Elden Ring. In this video, I want to talk to you a little bit about rune farms. Because all I've seen for the last week or so is people climbing up the wall. It used to be over in the distance, like the tip of my sacred relic sword. People would jump up onto that, climb up onto the rocks, and then jump over the other side, out of the map, keep swiping, and you get, I don't know, maybe a couple of hundred thousand runes. Everyone went ballistic over it. And the amount of people that were using that exploit to get runes was ridiculous. When the patch 1.04 dropped, and they added a couple of rocks over here so that you can no longer do it, or you're not supposed to be able to do it any longer, everyone started going mad. Oh, I can't believe they've done that. They patched that well quick. What are they doing? All this sort of stuff, and just giving negative feedback. Well, the traditional rune farms are way more efficient than jumping over the wall and out of the map. Not only that, as you've seen at the very beginning of this video, in patch 1.04, it is still possible to do it. It's just going to cause a little bit more stress because the jump is so, like, touch and go. So what I wanted to do is explain to you how you can get way more runes. So, just quickly, before we do get into the video, if you are not currently subbed to the channel, make sure you do sub turn notifications on. If you enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like. All support is greatly appreciated. And if you want to support me further as a creator, then check out the links in the description. And let's get into it. So, Palace Approach Ledge Road is the most popular, most common rune farming spot in the whole of Elden Ring. It has been since maybe a few days after the game released. And there are a few different farming methods here to gather millions of runes. You first off have the massive like wall climb now to get over the other side, drop out the edge of the map, keep spinning around or sit still or whatever and just keep spamming attack over and over again. Then you get this huge pile of runes and oh look at me, I'm getting like 180,000 in one like massive pile, like collection, whatever you want to call it. I've seen so many people talking about it and getting upset over the possibility of it being completely patched out. Please stop doing this. Not for the sake of it being an exploit and getting out of the map. Play however you want to play. But if you are going after runes, this is one of the slower methods in the game. If you think about it, I started off with, I think it was 278,000. I've now got 420. So it's about, what, 140,000 runes I got. And you might get 200,000. Absolutely fantastic if you do. But that's going to take you about two minutes. And each and every single time you've got to jump on Torrent, you've got to go through this really, really irritating climb on this wall. You've got to get over the top, even if you make it efficient. You've still got to climb this wall, jump over the edge, spam your attack button, and just wait for the runes to come in. So say for a pure example, you're getting 200k on this before you fast travel back. That's 100,000 per minute. There are 60 minutes in an hour. That is 6 million runes per hour. 100,000 every minute, a million every 10 minutes, times that by 6 for your 60 minutes, that's 6 million. If you have made it to Elden Beast and taken him down without even going through to New Game Plus, and you have claimed his remembrance, the Sacred Relic Sword, if you come to this hill here, stand here, use the skill once, and now that Wave of Gold's actually been buffed, it costs a lot faster, and you'll see right there, I got about, I don't know, 40,000 runes? And you can do that like three times, four times a minute, or something like that. I do have the gold scarab equipped, and I got 140k jumping over the wall. So with a gold pickled foul foot, I would say that's about 200,000 over that wall, or something like that. If you do this, 
this farm right here and there are multiple weapons you can use as you can see there's like a hologram thing in front of us like a spirit and you can see that they are using mogwin sacred spear there are lots and lots of different like there's a variety basically there's lots of options for weapons to use on this hill to kill these enemies you even have the bird over here. People are saying it's not as efficient as it was before, but you're still going to get runes. You don't need to resort to climbing a tedious wall and jumping out of the map. But with this farm on the hill, if you do it efficiently, and there are also, with the bird farm and the one down on the hill, there is a chance that the enemies will spawn in with, I, th I think they've got like golden glowing eyes or red glowing eyes or something like that. It happens, I think, more often at night time. You'll get five times the amount of runes off that enemy. So for 3,000 you would typically get off one of these Albanorix, you are going to get 15k instead. But not only that, I'd done a lot of testing before, I think it was even before patch 1.03, so we're talking, I don't know, we'll say about mid-March. I did a test and nothing has really changed with this. It's just actually become a lot easier because of how much faster we now cast Wave of Gold. And with this farm, you can bring in, providing you have a Gold Scarab and a Gold Pickled Foul Foot, you can bring in 12 million runes an hour. So that is double what you're going to get for using this tedious wall climb to get over here and jump out the edge of the map. The amount of replies I left to people in the comments that were moaning, like, well, not like not even necessarily moaning, just mentioning, oh no, they've patched it, the jumping out of the map. I said it was pointless anyway. I even left a comment on someone else's video. They was like, oh yeah, look, you can do this, you can jump out the map, you get so many runes, it's the new farming method, everyone's using it, blah, blah, blah. And I put, well, what's the point? You can get double for staying in the map. It's going to be less hassle if you've got the sacred relic sword and i know it's an end game like you have to take down elden beast but there are other options out there that will do pretty much the same thing it won't be as efficient it's not as easy to do but it's almost the same thing it's not going to be anywhere near as tedious to climb a bloody like as it is going to be to climb a wall and this rune farm on the hill and the bird farm have actually been going since the game launched so you can tell that it, like, if they are going to patch it, it's not going to be for a while yet. They're not too bothered because they've gone through two major patches without touching it. So because it's in the map, they probably think, okay, everyone's farming their runes. If we patch it, everyone's going to be pissed. Whereas with the one where you're jumping out the map, they've already tried patching it. So they don't want you out of the map. They don't want you exploiting that ability to get your runes. So in my opinion, I would stop climbing up the wall. I've shown you you can do it. It's entirely up to you how you play, obviously. But I would strongly recommend get yourself a weapon like Mogwin's Sacred Spear, like the Sacred Relic Sword. Come to this hill and look how easy this is. I've just got to stand here, look at an enemy, swipe wave of gold and look at the runes. Look at that, that was almost 40,000, and you have a chance of getting even more. It's insane the amount of runes you can get from doing this. I've been using this farm non-stop since the game released, like since I got my hands on the Sacred Relic Sword. Because at the time I didn't know Mogwin's Sacred Spear would be any good here, but there are so many options, and it's so much easier. You don't have to sit on Torrent and do all this shit. Look at this. I, I have to sit there and jump, and I mean, the more you do it, the more you'll become efficient with it, granted. But you have to jump over to here, and then if you do get lucky enough to land up there and not slide all the way down, then you've got to jump across and then you've got to jump out the map. You've got to sit there spinning. I mean, a lot of the time it's probably going to take longer than two minutes. So it's not an efficient rune farm whatsoever. I think everyone's just got excited because look at me, I'm out of the map. I think it's that sort of thing that everyone's got hyped about. But yeah, just I thought I'd bring you the video, the best rune farm before and after patch 1.04 is the standard one on the Palace Approach Ledge Road, where you just use a weapon to kill those Albanorix and you just take all the runes from them. It is so easy, there's nothing tedious to it, and you're going to get even more runes. So if you're farming for runes, what's the point of jumping out the map when you get more for staying in it? On that note, we're going to leave the video there. Let me know your thoughts and stuff in the comments, and I'll see you in the next one. I hope you guys enjoyed it.